Hi, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we've got some unboxings from sigmasport.co.uk. Now, I'm not sponsored by Sigma Sport, and these are just where I got them from. They weren't in stock at where I normally get stuff, so I ordered them from here. First thing we're going to look at is, and this is exactly how it came, <coughs> we're going to look at these Dura Ace uh, disc rotors. Part number, if you're wondering, is Shimano Dura Ace Isotech Freesia 160mm rotor. We're going to start with that one. That's exactly how it came in the box. So um, we'll just have a look at this. So let's crack on with it out there. So it comes in a packet. This is loose, and this is inside another packet. So uh, start with the lock ring. Um, all the lock rings I've ever seen are black. This one is a nice um, kind of shiny metallic grey. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Locked to 40 newton meters. Now, let's get the rotor out itself. Okay. If you've seen my review on the um, Ultegra versions of these, you'll know that uh, the only difference I think is that this one's got a black middle and the Ultegra one is metal, just plain metal coloured. Now, the first thing I'm noticing is this black is different to what I thought it would be. I thought the black was a matte finish, but it's actually shiny black and it's very smooth. Slightly grippy. Maybe that's just because it's cold. But, um... The sound seems to be the same. Um, right, so let's have a look around it. We've got uh, Shimano, Ice Technologies Freesia. We have uh, 160mm, yeah, here. Minimum thickness 1.5mm. Now, when I did my Ultegra review, I didn't realise what that what this actually meant, but someone uh, put me right, so now I'm able to tell you. Right, we've got a rotation arrow, so you know which way it goes on. Basically, it goes on your wheel that way, not that way around. That would be really silly, putting it that way around, but I suppose they've got to uh, make sure. There's also the part number, SMRT900S, and there's also a warning there do not put your finger in the rotor while it's going round because you might damage yourself. Uh, looking round now, I'm just looking over the top of the camera, so uh, trying to see if there's any blemishes on it because there was on the Altegra ones, you might remember. Um, on one of these parts, there was uh, some scratches, but this one looks pretty good as I'm looking all the way around it. That actually, yeah, I thought that a black would be more like a black, um, kind of like the internal spider uh, support, but it's actually really shiny, you can tell. That's actually quite cool. Right, let's give it away, because I like to weigh stuff. People kind of uh, kind of interested in that. So, let's put it on the scales, and we see it weighs in at 119 grams. 119 with the center lock uh, adapter or the screw or the center lock lock, it's 127. So let's put this back in its packet. There it goes. Let's put it back in its bag. If I can get in there. So that's that. Chuck in the center lock. Bit. Hold that back and let's move on. The second item is the 140mm rotor. There we go. A Dura Ace Ice Tech Freezer 140mm rotor. So, let's open up the bag. Again, we've got a metallic grey lock ring. And we've got the rotor. Let's just pull that out. Okay, 
as you can see it's smaller because it's only 140 mil. Again we have a Shimano Ice Technologies Freezer Rotor. We have 140 mil minimum thickness 1.5 mil. Then you've got to change it. A rotation arrow. SMRT900SS. Just looking on the other one, it was S, and this one is SS. Um, again, it's nice and shiny. Again, I thought it would be more of a matte finish like the center, but this is actually really shiny. Um, looking for, just looking over the top of the camera for any marks on the black uh, area. There is a little uh, a deficiency here that I'm pointing to. You may be able to see it there, just there. It's probably a deficiency in the paint or the plating. Um, other than that, not a problem. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. That's what it looks like uh, full view. I like this. I'm tempted to go twin 140s, but uh, we'll definitely have a 160 on the front. Good for stopping and not hitting cars. So let's zero this off. Rotor itself weighs exactly 100 grams. And with the lock ring or lock nut, 109 grams. Okay, so thanks for watching this review. Like, subscribe for more um, unboxings. See you soon. Thanks, bye.